How old were you when you decided you wanted to direct television? That's a very good question. I think I was 41 when I decided to, <laughs> to direct television. So it was crazy. And honestly, I didn't think I was going to direct television. I thought I was going to do um, movies, honestly. So <clears throat> that was the goal, at least. And my very first project ended up being a, uh, a movie of the week, a Christmas movie. And then from there, that got me into television. So because there's so many new TV shows coming up all the time, um, for any director to say, you know, I'll never do TV is silly because there's just so much work right now. So, yeah. So now I'll do both. And fantastic work. I mean, television is a lot of series and adaptations yeah. and things that... Yeah. Maybe wasn't the same in the 90s, yes. you know? Yeah. When we think of, well, Gen Xers think of television. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think also the fact, not only is, is television amazing now, but folks are not going to the movie theaters. I mean, $10 million is what Spielberg got for, uh, for West Side Story, which is less than Into the Heights. So it's like, and this is Spielberg. So folks are not going to the theaters anymore unless it's going to be like this really big, you know, Marvel situation. So spider Man's gonna kill. spider Man's gonna kill. But, you know, they spent $100 million to make West Side Story. It made 10 million this first weekend. It's gonna lose a lot of money. So right now, the way to do it is not necessarily, unless you're gonna be on a Marvel project, you definitely wanna, you know, obviously, you know, take whatever job you can take. But TV is where it's at because, you know, you get multiple, you get more than one, more than one, um, episode uh there's a there's so much content right now and if i just joined the director's guild and you know the director's guild the minimum for director's guild is a lot of money and you get residuals so it's like you know that's the way to me that's the way to go great congratulations thank you you said you just joined the director's guild yeah i just joined the uh, director's guild and you know it's a dream of mine in fact i had a um it's funny, I think this was 2019. <clears throat> I had put a post on my Instagram page, and in it I said, by the end of the year, I wanted to join the Writers Guild, the Producers Guild, and the Directors Guild by the end of 2019. 2020 comes, shuts all that down, so I'm like, okay, well, you know, we'll see what happens there. And then I was fortunate enough earlier this year to, um, to work on a Directors Guild a project for a TV series called uh, Games People Play on BET. So the way it works is for you to, to join the union, you have to direct a union job. And um, if you have not joined the union, it, which was in my case, you uh, once you do the job, you have to join. And either you can go ahead and put down the $13,000 that it costs to join, or you can just do payment plans. So that's what I decided to do. So I said, you know, here's a little bit of money now, and then I make small payments uh, throughout the rest of the year. Um, so it's a, it's, it's a big investment. You don't have to join. Well, let me put it this way. <clears throat> yeah, you don't have to join, but you won't be able to join, a, you won't be able to direct another director's guild job unless you join. So kind of like SAG, it's a similar kind of situation there. Um, but yeah, so you simply have to, you know, have to direct a DGA job. So you found a job that was union and you kind of, that that's how you get sort of grandfathered in is, yeah. is you, and then you say, I'm willing to pay these dues. Correct. So, yeah. So what happened is that, uh, as far as what happened with my, in my case is the company that I, that I, um, do a non-union show for, um, called Saints and Sinners, the, uh, one of the executive producers there knows somebody from BET and because of COVID BET, they have a show called Games People Play, and they have 10 episodes, I believe, each season. They decided because of COVID to only use one director to do all 10 episodes. However, they said, you know what, we want to give this guy a break. So let's bring one director to come in to do one episode. So the people from BET got in contact with this executive at this other company that I've worked with over the past three, four seasons on this TV series. And they said, hey, do you know anybody? who could come in and direct this, and they, they threw my name in the hat. So I had to actually interview with, um, with the uh, executive producer of that, of that show. And it uh, turns out that um, it was Tracy Edmonds, who um, she, 
we we know some of the same people. She used to she's to own a record label. And one of the people that was her star at her record label, I went to high school with at the Performing Arts High School. And so we talked about the fact that we know John B. We got along very well, so she hired me for the job. And so because she hired me for the job, that's how I got into the DGA. And then you get the announcement that you need to pay the 13000 by a certain date? Yeah. So after you join the DGA, well, while you're in the process of working, like you're doing all your prep and pre-production, you get a, you get a, a phone call say, and they say, hey, look, um, one of the producers for the show says, hey, look, you know, you're not DGA, you're going to have to join to do this. So just know that, you know, that that's coming. I finish the show, I get a letter, and they're like, okay, hey, look, you know, congratulations on your job, but you're going to need to join. Um, um, so, you know, like I said, I could have just said no, kept the money, and then just work on another non-union job. But now that I've joined, you know, and I'm making the payments and everything, I'm not supposed to work anymore in non-union jobs. So that's going to like take me out of that running for non-union jobs. And right now, most of the jobs I've been doing have been non-union. So whenever something pops up, um, I get in contact with the Directors Guild. So I had one job that I was already booked before I had done the DGA job. I was already booked to do. Um, and I said, hey, look, guys, I already had this gig before the DGA job. Is it okay? They said, well, can you send me the uh, proof of that? Excuse me, the, the proof of that. So I went ahead and showed them the emails. And they were like, okay, not a problem. So I was able to finish that non-union job. And now I'm completely, you know, union. Interesting. So similar to actors then, same yes. thing, that they can't... Yes. Yeah, problems of prosperity. So now you're going to this new level. Yeah. And you kind of can't go back. Yeah, and yeah. It's, and it's, it's almost like, you know, like like riding in first class. Do you really want to go back to coach? You really don't. <laughs> because, again, the money, you know, when I look at what I was making on a per episode basis, it's it's probably two and a half times more on a DGA job than when I was making on a non-union basis, you know? So it's like, do you really want to go back? Not really. And a different um, different set in terms of... You, not 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 talent. Talent can be yeah. non-union as well, yeah, but I yeah. mean, you're going to be going into sort of these higher realms. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, more money will be sent per episode. Sure. You know, a million dollars, two million bucks, three million bucks. Um, and, you, you know, you see that with Crafty. You see that with with lunch. You see that with, you know, accommodations for where you where you'll be staying. You're your, your trailer, you see that in the clothing, you you know, oh, the number of extras or background that you could bring on, um, the cars that, you, that that drive on, on onto the, uh, you know, into the scene. So it's the same thing, you know, it's, 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 it's the same in the sense that it's the same widget, you know, meaning that you turn on the camera, you get some actors, makeup, camera, lights, that's the same thing. But yeah, you're right. It will make things a lot easier, I think. And I think the quality of, of the work will uh, will go to the, uh, another level by working on, on some of these larger projects.